You're watching Let the Quran Speak. Now we answer questions we've received from you, our viewers. If you have a question yourself, please visit our website, www.quranspeaks.com. Okay, Brother Shapiro, this question here. You mentioned in a previous question and answer session that individuals who have committed major sins will eventually go to heaven as long as they are Muslims. So this person is contrasting this to someone who had uh, committed minor sins, and not those major atrocities, but died as a non-Muslim and is punished in eternity in hellfire. So the person is saying, how is this just? Obviously, most individuals will find that this is not just, and, and we should not attribute things which uh, are, are so uh, clear to, to the vast majority of people as being unjust to God. We, we shouldn't attribute to God such actions which most people will, will abhor. Mm. Uh, because what God does is, is decent, is uh, kind, is merciful, is benevolent, and is just and he has given people the basic sense to recognize justice and to see injustice and, and to abhor injustice. And he has mentioned uh, in, in, in one of the Hadith Qudsi that he has uh, prescribed justice for himself and, uh, and not injustice. He has forbidden himself from committing injustice. Uh, w w the way of resolving this is for, for me to think that each individual has a range of options and uh, the good individual is the one who generally picks the good options from within his or her range. And, and God is judging people on, on this basis. So even people who are non-Muslims, if they do good actions and they're generally picking the good options from within their range, uh, then uh, God will eventually grant them salvation in, in the life hereafter. Uh, now, if, if I say that, uh, then somebody may ask, well, why even bother to be a Muslim then? Mm -hmm. Because to be a Muslim requires all of this work and prayer and fasting and all of that. Well, we would say first, we do all of these things out of the love of God, and that's how it should be done. It's not to, uh, because it's a, it's a duty imposed upon us, but because this is what we love to do. Uh, second, there are many degrees in, in paradise, and God may place people in, in various levels uh, of paradise depending on the actions that they perform. So each uh, action has a certain consequence, a good action has a good consequence, and we will reap those consequences in the life hereafter. Those who haven't performed certain actions will not get the same consequence, uh, or, or the same good and, and great benefit in the life hereafter. Uh, second, we, we should say that uh, when God has given us a certain guidance, that's within our range of options to follow that guidance. And, and if we turn away from that guidance, that's going to the negative side of our own range of options. Mm. So, and then we will be blameworthy because within our range of options, we fail to pick what is good and we actually pick what is bad. <laughs> all right. Thank you for that, Brother Shabir. You're welcome. And that's all the time we have for updates and additional information. Please visit our website, www quranspeaks.com and write to us because your comments and questions help guide the show. I'm Sophia Ali for all of us here at Let the Quran Speak. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar.